Christians around the world tonight and right here at home received their ashes today. We're talking about Ash Wednesday in the beginning of the Lenten season. 13 News' Cassandra Brettel joins us to explain how one Catholic church is focusing their prayers for people they've never even met. Cassandra. Brittany, Brittany, during Lent, the Diocese of Rockford is encouraging all Catholics to join Pope Francis in offering up prayers and acts of charity for the people of Ukraine. One local church hopes it will spread unity and peace, not just here in our area, but around the world. For 40 days, Catholics are asked to reflect and reset their spiritual journey. Lent is really a special time to open ourselves to that grace of uh, that renewal and that uh, it's kind of like a wake up call a little bit in the spiritual journey because everyone can kind of drift a little bit. And, uh, you know, this year with uh, things kind of opening up with mass going um, optional, there's just more people coming out, which is great. It's a much different tone this year, with the Diocese of Rockford announcing face masks are optional, along with easing other COVID-19 restrictions. With the ashes, we, we were asked to, uh, rather than pr press them on people's foreheads, we were just asked to at least sprinkle some on their, on, their, on their top of their heads. It's starting to feel more like a community again. Um, and, you know, we just love the social interactions, not only for us as parents, but as well as for our kiddos. The Zeller family says Ash Wednesday is not only a family tradition. Before we even got our asters, she kept asking, is it time, is it time, is it time? And we like to create a paper chain and just kind of take one chain off as the Lenten season goes on. But a way to come together and find peace when the world can often present chaos. Especially going into the Lenten season with everything going on in the world, this is a really good way to just concentrate and kind of bring ourselves back to Christ. They kind of feel that anguish as they see the images of, uh, you know, pe people who are suffering and just some of the brutality of war and it's, uh, it's, it's horrible. So we, we want to be certainly in, in prayerful support and whatever we, we can to, to be with those folks. Offering up sacrifices, prayers and good deeds during Lent to let those suffering the most know they're not alone. Lent ends 40 days from today and is often celebrated on Easter Sunday. For 13 News, I'm Cassandra Brettel.